Eagles. Eagles need a defensive break here. Sure, those penalties may, may have uh, happened after the ball was dead. And both teams were wrong. That would make sense. That would make perfect sense. Here's an inside handoff to Marvin Phoenix. Play is stuffed by the, the uh, middle of the Norristown defensive line. The clock is on the side of the Warriors, Joe. One more first down, and I think it'll be impossible for Norristown. They have to stop them here right. because they just won't have enough time That's left right. on the clock because the they can't stop it. The clock right now is, the, is Mathacton's 12th man, no doubt about it. And Coach Morankov is going to instruct Hanrahan to take all the time he needs. Here's a handoff to Phoenix. Again, to play. He's still on his feet. Eventually knocked down. Gained maybe a yard, if that. Norristown may yet get the ball back, but they have no timeouts left. No, they don't, Joe. It's going to be very tough. <laughs> There's going to be under two minutes left when Norristown gets the ball back uh, if they can stop Mathacton here on third and eight. All right. Whistle for penalty. Whistle. I think they made. Yeah, Joe, there was 2.47 on the clock at the end of the last play. It's now 2.16. Mathacton, I believe, purposely. And that, that means nothing. What it does, it helps Mathacton. They're still going to get a run, a third down play. The clock's going to continue to run. It's going to give Norristown even less time. It was a smart play by the quarterback Andor Marinkoff if he told him to do it. Penalties at Norristown and, and a lack of kicking game, Joe. Difference in this one so far. Here's here's Hanratty. Hanrahan keeps the ball. He's still on his feet. Oh, Joe, he's, he's scooting. He's at the 50. There's the he's MVP the of the game. He's at 35, 30, he 25, 20, 15. This 10, game is over. Five. Touchdown, John Hanrahan. No flags. There. Joe, uh, somebody, I was talking about John Hanrahan. I, and see, I see, Tom, a yellow flag, but I, I don't know what. Well, that it won't matter, even if it's against Methacton. The game, the, because they, they're still going to run the clock out here. <laughs> Unsportsmanlike, Methacton, maybe, maybe uh, celebrating, does coming the, onto the field. Does the touchdown count? The touchdown does count. <laughs> Perhaps a rule for cel overzealous celebrating. Guess what, Joe? If I'm a coach, I don't blame for that. You be a team like Norristown, big robbery like this, first time probably in, in many years. Your kids are happy. Let them show they're happy. My yeah. goodness. I mean, I, they. They're not rubbing it in. They're no, showing their own happiness. No, no, they, 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 they. Uh, Marinkoff wouldn't tolerate that sort of behavior anyway. No, I think it was just a legitimate celebration. 15 I don't. Think to seven. Clock still. The scoreboard still reads. There it is. 15 to 7 Methacton. All right, they, they tacked on the 15 yards after the touchdown. And so, they're still going to attempt the extra point from. It'll be a 35, 35 right? 35 yard and extra point. had a 13 yarder that they opted not to, ch chose not to attempt. MVP of this game is the quarterback, Hanrahan. No question about it, Joe. No good. A little good. bit wide left. A little I bit wide left. All right, well, Joe. It's not over. It's it's certainly not over. It's 15 to seven. By that, when I said it was over, uh, I assumed uh, they would make the extra point. But uh, with that penalty called, Norristown's going to have two minutes to score a touchdown, and then they'll have to succeed on the two-point conversion. That's correct. Which I suggested last week. They put in a package this week. 
a number of when, when I when I realized Joe they weren't strong in their extra point kicking game I've seen coaches do nothing but go for two point conversions mm -hmm. and you know so what if you get one out of three or one out of two sure just like the three point shot in basketball you're still going to be better off all right the score is 15 7 two minutes one second left to play Methacton will be kicking off Coleman Pettigrew Johnson will be deep to receive for the Eagles. Nate Pengroover will be kicking off. Norristown needs a long, quick strike here. They need an excellent return if they have if if, if they're gonna have any chance to come back into this game. And they're going to have to complete some passes, and Methacton's already got three interceptions. Four, Joe. four, Tom. Four, oh, four interceptions, yep. Here's Pengroover's kick. Offsides, Methacton. I saw that right away, Joe. They, they had two or three uh, Methacton special teams players cross the line at least two yards before the kicker made contact. So that'll set it back five more yards. Yep. Norristown, the uh, Norristown deep receivers will move up five yards. They'll be refiel fielding the ball. I think you're going to see a line drive line. punt. They're going to try to maybe force it past Johnson. Make him pick it up deeper toward the uh, Methacton end zone. All right, here's Pengroover. Skimmed along the ground, out, out of, of bounds. bounds. That's good enough, 35. Norristown's got to go 65 yards, Joe, in two minutes. With nope. no timeouts, they're going to have to use the sideline. They're going to have to have their players up. And again, it's a situation, a two-minute offense for relatively a running team that has not been in this position before. It's going to be very difficult because a lot of it's timing. Coach Grove has used the coin Carmona over after every play. He may, he may or may not have that luxury. I believe the clock does stop. Was there another penalty? I, I think I Norristown think, refused the 35. I think they want they wanted to they get the ball. It again. Again. They, they, can take they can take that option. Norristown turned down possession at the 35 and forced Methacton to kick the ball off the, from the 30. Right now, Penn Groover's instructions are just keep the ball in the middle of the field. Well, that time he kicked it out of bounds left, Joe. He booms this oh, one. Boy, Norristown might, they might be sorry they took that because the clock's running. And oh, heavens. So vicious, yards. vicious hitting. My heavens. Lost eight yards. And he's down. Number three, Sam Johnson was creamed. Cost them eight yards, Tom. You're absolutely correct. Eight yards and seven seconds, Joe. But maybe their maybe their thing was, hey, we can run it back for score. So I'm not gonna I'm not going to question that decision. Absolutely not. All right, here are the Eagles. 72 yards away. Here's a play. A uh, penalty flag penalty. on the play. Count the number of blue jerseys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve players on the field for Norristown. Another, another mental mistake. Twelve players on the field. Illegal substitution is what it's called. Somebody better read that rule book. That's the second costly penalty. Well, under you that know, I, I don't know. Rules. I again with the intricacies of football. I, I mean, I, is it special teams, coaches? Is it offensive? I don't know. Is it just poor communication? Are players making the mistakes? Again, it's just a shame, but these mistakes have hurt Norris down the night. Minute 54, Carmona back. Through behind number 23, that's Darius Brame. 
He had him. He had him on a slant. Threw behind him. Second down, 15 yards to go. The fact that it'll be in a prevent defense. Hanrahan will be 20, 25 yards in back of the defensive line. All right, here's Carmona, second down, 15 yards to go. Single, back, uh, single uh, running back in the backfield. That's number five, to Davey the Watson. It's the 35, Joe. That's where they would have started had they not, ex not uh, forced the second kickoff. And it, they would have started here with 40 more seconds on the clock. Minute 37 left to play. Clock continues to run. Carmona back to throw. There's another slant pat, yeah, pass but, number five, Dave Watson. But it's a the completed fact that pass. Them have them sure all they will. All night. The clock runs. Now is that going to move the change and stop the clock? The clock is stopped. The scoreboard reads fourth and two. Official timeout to get a measurement. They're going to bring the bring the sticks out. Our right, coach Grove is signaling if the, if they get the first down here, I think he instructed Carmona to spike the ball to stop the clock and then come over to get the play. First down, Bernard. Down. Was a first down, Tom. You're right again. All right, so I think you're going to see Anthony Carmona spike the ball here to stop the clock to come over to the sideline to get the instructions from Coach Roger Grove. Now that's what I thought I sensed him saying. All right, trips left. Three wide receivers to the left side. Box running and they're at a long count. I don't understand it. Now they're going they're going long. Almost Ball intercepted. Down, almost knocked down by that was uh, number 22, Marvin Phoenix again. Another two-way hero here for the Mathacton Warriors. Hanrahan Phoenix. Molesky on defense played a whale of a game against a very strong Norristown club. They need a big they need a big gain here, uh, Joe. Yep. These uh, nickel and dime passes in the middle of the field aren't going to help them. There's a, there's a little over a minute to play. They need a big play. And, it, and they, they got to look to stretch the field. I think they're looking to stretch the field and hit the seam. Sideline pass, and he came back in. He's got to get out of bounds. For Joe, he's got to get out of bounds there. He should have scooted right out of bounds. Clock continues to run. 52 seconds left to play in the game. He had, all he had to do was step out of bounds there, Joe. 43. 43 seconds left to play. Here's Carmona back. Ball almost intercepted by number 43. I don't know that's, who that was intended to, really. That's Rob Pignata. Yeah. 34 seconds left to play. Joe, I was looking for this schedule. Norristown plays Wissahickon next week away. Uh, I don't believe Wissahickon has one of their stronger teams, so they ought to do fine over there. But then they have some tough games coming up. I believe they have to play at Quakertown, who's excellent. They have to play at Downingtown, who's excellent. So their tough part of their schedule is after next week is, is forthcoming. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting how they bounce back if they can't pull this out tonight. Fortunately, they'll have a weaker opponent next week in Wissahickon. Here's Carmona. This may be the last play of the game. Throws it deep. Number five was not looking overthrown. for the ball. Dave Watson, the ball was clearly overthrown, but Watson's head was not in the right direction. First down, 10 yards to go. Mathacton takes over, and that 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 that'll do it. Yeah, they they'll have they'll run one play. They'll just they'll just genuflect, Neil, and that'll be at one snap. Uh, Joe, why we're the game's going to be wrapped up here, 28 seconds. Let's do our wrap up now. Sure. Uh, not that we're the miracle of the Meadowlands. I don't expect will happen here tonight, but uh, Norristown's passing game was not sharp tonight. They made some critical errors. Uh, the the lack of the extra point kicking game hurt them. A couple I, critical fourth down mistakes. The, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. They they really 
beat themselves tonight. They shot themselves in the foot. They self-destructed. There's no doubt about that. But all credit to the uh, to the Methacton Warriors, uh, Hanrahan, Molesky, uh, Marvin Phoenix, uh, Timmy Hobbs uh, played just terrific games. And um, again, Tom, I agree with you 100%. Uh, illegal or uh, illegal substitutions, unsportsmanlike conduct, uh, and the Eagles just went up in a puff of smoke. And the season started out with with such promise, such promise. Another now, penalty flag on the play. And now they go on the road. Why don't the officials just let this game end? Why don't they just let it end? Illegal procedure against the Warriors. 25 seconds left to play. An illegal procedure, you're right, Joe. But again, again, uh, let's give Coach George Marenkov credit. Coming off a tough loss, a league loss to Upper Marine last week. They came in here, they prepared, they regrouped, they stayed with their game plan, and the quarterback Hanrahan proved to be the smartest and most valuable player on the field tonight. Absolutely. Two interceptions as a defensive halfback, free safety, and a 60-yard uh, a touchdown bolt uh, on a keeper play. He was clearly the most valuable player of today's game, or tonight's game. All right, Joe, it's a pleasure working with you tonight. Vice versa. Look forward to seeing you back here in a couple weeks. Look forward to it. Final score, Methacton Warriors 15, the Norris Down Eagles 7, Methacton moves to two and one in the year, one and one in the league. Norristown, two and one on the year, one and one in their conference. For Joe Hyland, I'm Tom McGee. On behalf of the Norristown Area School District TV Network, good night. Good job.